is Veronica. She's 61 and living with HIV. Every month, she travels to a health clinic to queue for her medication. Sometimes she's sent away empty-handed as younger people are served before her. I've complained, but I'm told to shut up and wait. They say it's my careless sexual behavior that put me in this predicament, which should not be the case at my age. They say older people are finishing drugs, which would be of better use to younger people. They have even denied me the use of a cup to swallow my pills because I'm not a good person and should know better at my age. And here is 53-year-old Irene. She's HIV positive, but her husband is negative. My husband continually abuses me in front of friends and relatives because of my status. He calls me a prostitute and tells me it is only a matter of time until I die. I went to the police but my husband told them it was my sexual activities that left me HIV positive. Then the officers were not interested and treated me with disdain. They told me that I was lucky and I should be thankful after all that I had done. And this is Mary. She is 50 and HIV positive and lives alone with no support. She's been repeatedly fired because of her HIV status. Once I worked as a cleaner in a cafe. One day, a customer who knew I was HIV positive threw a glass in my face. He said he refused to drink from a glass washed by an HIV carrier. He told the manager he wasn't supposed to employ an HIV positive person. The manager sacked me that very day. If I complain and try and seek justice from the legal system, I will likely be more abused. The impact of HIV on older women is not discussed, understood or addressed. They face discrimination based on age, sex, HIV status and wealth. They are denied information and services, suffer violence and are prevented from earning a living. Yet they remain invisible in policies, programs and strategies. We don't even know how many older women are affected by HIV. When a woman turns 50, she no longer counts and is no longer counted. The HIV epidemic is aging. We must count older women in HIV statistics, ensure funding supports them and fight for laws that protect their rights.